hello friends welcome back to the channel this is Austin code cipher back again with another video on web development so if you have got a chance to watch my previous tutorials I've already explained this I downloaded them and I'm using them offline so they they are inside these folders CSS and there is bootstrap.mini.css the same applies to bootstrap.gss so the JavaScript if at all you are not going to be using this and you are online you have internet access you can go to bootstrap.com and use their CDN and I'll show you how it looks like this is how it looks like you just need it to include it you just need to include it in your head section under the CSS so you link a uh, href after the href you post this or paste that in the href the same applies to bootstrap.gss dot gs dot gss dot gs you paste this in and some extra trip you have to include jquery like at the bottom this side so that's the brief introduction for you guys let's go straight into creating these cool buttons they are called contextual buttons and i'll write my div so bootstrap has this class called container so this will make everything responsive on your web page not everything but as in the body will be responsive so it will be having those different media queries when the size is being adjusted to some specific size either they are watching it on a mobile device or desktop device so we shall start by writing some tag for button so these are the basic tags you normally see so if it, by, it has some default buttons or oh, default default button and I'm going to create another button so there is a button called primary so some they are not a button it's a class but I'm just going to make the visible text by their name so button there is one called info there is a class called info so to save ta some time I'm going to copy this paste it on diff several times I'm just going to change the text so info there is danger there is warning 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 sp warning i guess there is success not guessing there is success so those are the different types of button that jquery has let's put some border i'm going to <coughs> let me zoom in so that you can see the real stuff we are talking about now to design this you have to put a class now this one the class is btn you have to put btn you say btn again dash default save this and as you can see they have given us this cool default button we are seeing so don't mind about the margin at the top we are going to work on that let us first look at the different classes now you write btn the first write the class of btn and there is also another class called btn dash default now for primary you say class btn you first write the class of btn say so btn dash primary so I get I wrote the text according to their class name and this is how primary will be looking at looking like so they have that overstate the one so this one bootstrap simplifies your CSS if at all you are writing CSS <coughs> you good you would go to your CSS and say like this dot hover then you put that color you want to be hovered over that button so for info we put 
a class of say btn btn dash info save that and this is what we'll be having so search call colors with those effects that's how easily you can design your buttons so for then for danger right class you say btn btn another class so there are two classes you say danger and this will be some red button and i'll show you some real time ways or the different ways you can be using them on your web page then we go to warning you include that class you say btn btn warning save that and this is what we are having this is the warning button it will be having that cool effect also lastly we go to success say class btn btn dash success save that and this is what we are having so we have created some call buttons on our web page so those are the different buttons now let's add here some header header and I'm going to call this I'm going to give it h4 and I say bootstrap contextual contextual is just the sparing buttons save this we are having that so that's it guys if you like the video share it on different social medias subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next tutorial so i told you before we do this i will give you some real time examples so this danger button may be delete as you can see this can be the delete button let me say the primary may be like a like button save it and as you can see they are responsive so it will respond to the word size when it's big it increases the width logic when it's small it adapts that real size so that's it guys i will see in the next tutorial if you want to design this heading also you can go to the head section and say bg let me say danger or class class danger you add some padding p dash five that's the padding I want I say text white and text center so to center the word then we shall go write some little bit of CSS here style and I'll say I'll target the header by its tag name and I say margin bottom five pixels as you can see it has left some space so thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next tutorials of Stone Code Cypher I'm out peace subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorials when you subscribe we shall see big bodies so when you subscribe we shall be bodies <laughs>